guys, last week my washing machine was broken, which means I have a whole complete week worth of laundry to do. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me as I go throughout my laundry process from start to finish, showing you the products I use, how I fold it, where I put it, all of that good stuff. So if that's something you guys are interested in, then you're going to want to make sure you stick around. Here is all of the laundry in the house. And as you can tell, it is piled all the way up to the middle of this door. So I have a big task in front of me. that I like to use on our laundry. First is our laundry detergent. Now, if I'm being 100% honest, I am not totally happy with this. This came from Costco, and it says that it has a lavender scent, but this really does not have any scent at all. And I typically like scent on my clothes when I wash them, so that's the only reason I would say that I am not 100% happy with this product. But otherwise, it cleans our clothes really well. I just wish it had more scent. So I probably will not be repurchasing this. We're almost out. We only have that little bit left. So when we run out, I'm probably going to get something different. But right now, this has been cleaning our clothes really good. I use the Snuggle Fabric Softener along with the Snuggle Dryer Sheets to get stains out of my kids clothes. I love this OxyClean laundry stain remover. It works really well and has gotten all of the stains out of all of my kid clothes whenever I need it. I also use vinegar and baking soda in every single load that I wash. And I personally think that using the vinegar and baking soda gets our clothes whiter and gets them a lot cleaner than just using the laundry detergent alone. When it comes to my towels, I like to roll mine. So I start off by folding it up in the pretty much the same fashion that most people fold it. But instead of folding it here like this, I roll mine. So I just grab it and roll it down. with my hand towels. So with my hand towels, I will fold them in half. So they're like this. And then once I get it like this, that's when I roll it up. Just like that. My husband's clothes are the only clothes that I fold all of them. So I have a different way of folding his shirts and his pants so that they stack up and stand up in the drawer. That way he's not digging through piles of clothes. He can see exactly what he has just by opening the drawer. So let me go ahead and show you how I fold his shirts. I will grab his shirt. And I will grab the top right here where the sleeves are.
and I will fold the sleeves in. So I just grab it, fold everything in, and lay it down on the floor. Once you lay it on the floor, it should just look like a long rectangle. So it just looks just like this. The sleeves are folded in, and it's just one big long rectangle. Now, from this step, I will fold the shirt all the way down. And this is where most people stop. They just fold the shirts like this, and then you can stack them in your drawer. But I don't like having to flip through different shirts in order to find the one that I want. So I go a step further. Once I have it like this and it's nice and flat, I will flip it over. Then I will grab it fold it in halfway, fold it in again halfway. Now it is just a tiny little rectangle and you can stand it up in your drawer just like that. able to go in here and see exactly which shirts he has he can grab whichever shirt he would like without messing up all of the others and it's just so much easier than having them stacked on top of each other and I also do the same thing with his pants that way they stack up and he can see exactly what he has in his drawer so I grab the pants and I fold them in half Then I'll lay it on the floor. And once you have it laid out on the floor, I will then fold it again. I will fold this little piece in so that it's a perfect rectangle. Grab it again, fold it. And this is where most people stop. I will grab it from the side, fold it in half, so that when I stick it in the drawer, it will stand up just like that, and I can stack all of his pants, and he can just grab one out, and he is ready to go. Exact same thing with his undergarments. I will grab the shorts, I will fold them, and then I will start rolling them. closet the only exception to that is our pants and for my two-year-old we have this little nightstand in her closet and this acts as like a dresser for her so this top drawer just 
has diapers and wipes. I need to refill it. And then the bottom drawer holds all of her pants and all of her shorts. So on this side, I have all of her pants lined up. They're stacked. That way I can see exactly what she has. So it's easy for me to pick out outfits in the morning. And then for her shorts, they are just stacked over here since it's not really short weather anymore. And we won't really need these anymore right now. They're just stacked right here. But when it becomes summertime... I will fold them similar to this, that way I can see exactly what we have. I'm going like one, two, three, four, looking at you when you're on the floor, five, six, seven, eight, ready for that heartbreak. I'm going like one.